This one's a little late, but bodies, bodies, bodies. Let's go. So uh, this isn't a movie that I would ordinarily pick uh, to watch on my own. Um, my sister is to blame for this one. She has been she has been picking a lot of interesting movies, and uh, I've been her watch partner for for some of these some of these uh, some of these flicks. Um, all I know is I better get the Best Big Brother award. So we're gonna see what's up with that. But bodies, bodies, bodies. Directed by uh, the Dutch filmmaker uh, Halima uh, Ren. I think that's how you pronounce her last name. Uh, stars Amanda Stenberg, Maria ba- uh, Bakalova, and Pete Davidson, among others. And this film is about what? It's about a group of 20-something rich young individuals who are having a party at someone's mansion in the middle of a hurricane. And that's sort of what we're what we're dealing with we it's set up as a slasher if you've seen any of the trailers or you've um read anything about it um you're coming into it um with the mentality that it's this is a slasher these kids are going to be at a party and a bunch of uh you know hijinks ensue and there's a killer on the loose somewhere in the mix and it's picking them off one by one you know that, you understand that going in, this is what's going on. But the genius of this movie, well, it's genius or it's either laziness, uh, depending on how you look at it. Um, I'm leaning towards genius. I've had some time to sort of think about the movie, and I think that um, it's the, it might be the most clever slasher film that's not really a slasher film. What I mean by that is, uh, and this is probably due to the marketing or leading everybody to believe the film is one thing and then you discover it's actually, it's not. Uh, coming away from the film, it feels more like uh, it's a, you know, whodunit, but for the millennium age or Generation Z or whatever you want to call it. Um, you, you might think of it like um, Clue. Have you seen that movie from the... Uh, um, 1980s uh, Clue, based on the popular, uh, you know, game, which is an amazing game, by the way. If you've never played it, Clue is, play that game. It's, it's cool. It's cool. But you think of it like Clue with just a younger slant, younger, with younger people uh, in it. And I, the, when I thought of it that way, it was much more enjoyable um, for me. Um, and this is sort of after thinking about the movie, the, having watched it, have some time to think about it and um, really, you know, processing it. And I think m- m- we're, my sister and I were both sort of a little bit let down by the end result. But again, this is, this is me talking about the movie some days after we'd seen it. And I think I like it a little better than I did when I first uh, watched it. And um, yeah, it's, it's a, it's it's a unique a unique take on uh, the kind of movie it is. It's like you know, the genre wise, you know, it's horror, but it's horror. It's a horror comedy um, with whodunit um, elements, strong whodunit elements. That's how I would uh, describe it. A um, couple of things it has going for it, uh, primarily, uh, and the acted. It's well acted. I, I think um, standout. So. Uh, are um, Amanda Stenberg and uh, Maria ba- uh, Bakalava. Uh, she's both of them are amazing. I want to single out uh, Amanda Stenberg because she for a second because um, I first saw her in you know Hunger Games like I think most people probably did. They probably saw her in a few other things including The Hate You Give and a couple other movies. But she really seeing her here. She really um, I think she really grew. She's grown as an actor. She's really like uh, she was always good, right? She was good in. in the Hunger Games, um, but seeing how um, much her, the nuances that she chose to employ uh, in in this movie, um, I was I was surprised. I was like, "Wow, this is wow! Look at look at her, man! She's doing some killer work." Um, so yeah, she was fantastic. That she was great. Um, 
Maria Bakalava. Ba- Bakalava? She's fantastic too. Uh, she's I hadn't seen her really in anything else, but I thought she was really good, and um, I want to see her in more stuff. Uh, Pete Davidson felt like to me um, like he could have been any character. He, he was playing almost an extension of characters he'd played on Saturday Night, Saturday Night Live. But you know, you're watching, you be the judge. Um, it's a funny. It's funny. Like the it, it lives up to the comedy element of it. Um, it's suitably unsettling, um, dipping into the horror or places. It's probably a a um, more uh, firmly in the horror comedy space than a lot of other horror comedies. Uh, but um, yeah, I think it's 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 a fun time at the movies if you're curious about it. Um, a lot of, you know, I'm sure it's, a lot of people think it's quite good. It, there's a, it, has, it has a lot to say about a lot of stuff, too. There's a lot of, <laughs> um, and I think the other thing is cool that the writing is actually not bad. The the writing is pretty decent. It's actually strong. There's a lot of um, interplay with, with the characters. You only got like six or seven people that the movie is focused on. And there's something cool about that. I'm always, I, I like movies that really do well with a handful of characters in one space. And you can explore a whole world of possibilities and histories in that space. Well, you don't really need to go to a whole bunch of different locations and stuff. There's a whole bunch of things that happen in this house among this group of people. And it's cool to see when it's done well. And I think this movie succeeds in handling each character uh, with care and each of their threads and each of their sort of character flaws. Um, And all of that stuff sort of makes sense. And um, and then you deal with a couple of characters who are quite annoying a little bit, but then but they they're supposed to be annoying, and it's it's um yeah it's 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 a, if you're curious about it, it's a fun time at the movie. So I I I would suggest catching it at some point. If you, um uh, it's not a bad movie for sure. So don't don't um don't uh, let any negative uh, criticism about the film stop you from catching this unique uh, film. It's a, you know, and it's A24. A24 is a, has a reputation for releasing movies that are um, unique and bodies, bodies, bodies fits the bill. So check it out. Uh, if for nothing else, check it out for uh, the acting. I think, I think the acting is, is quite strong. So do that. And um, yeah, I don't know that there's a, there's a whole lot to say else about this movie. Um, but if I think of something, I might come on back and add it to this video. <laughs> if you've made it to the end of this video, uh, thank you for taking the time to watch. I really appreciate it. Um, let's continue the conversation in the comments below. Uh, in the meantime, I'm out of here. <laughs>